Hey everyone, this is on Melville Switched On, and today we're going to be talking about out something we do. So, uh, what I'm going to talk about is we might end up doing the Terraria series later, but what I'm going to talk about now is how would you feel if I ended up, if I managed to get enough subscribers in order to get into Hermitcraft or a big Terraria series or some other big Minecraft series or if I managed to collab with someone amazing. We're going to be talking about things like, seriously, about almost 100% of my viewers are not subscribed. And that's not a lot of viewers, so you should definitely subscribe. That means more people will find out about, will discover me and learn about how great a non-profit YouTuber can be. I'm actually doing this without any money. I'm literally not paying up anything to do this. I'm not editing at all. The big logo thing you see in front of me is just made with, with a painting app. I literally do liter I do literally no editing. Another thing I'm going to talk about is if any of you are playing me, uh, asking, are uh, thinking I will do a live action thing or some kind of vlog thing, don't get dreams over. I am not going to showcase myself doing anything in other than let's plays, and also I'm not doing any videos to do with plushies. Do I do have a bunch of plushies? And I play with them and act as if they're all friends and stuff. But don't expect me to make an entire video to do with the plushies. And any videos to do with the plushies. Also, another thing I have a pair of. I also have my own book. I also have an amethyst. Which is cool. I, I have a bunch of rocks, a big collection of rocks and gems. I've had I have snowflake obsidian too. I actually have a bit of gold. Like literally, I have some flakes of gold in a little bottle. Sovereign Hill. <sighs> Which reminds me, while well, my fake, I can easily make a fake more idea to do with with gold. In fact, that's why. A regional form for Perserker and Meowth. A Loki and Meowth is a rock type and it's based on a tabby. It's really cute. And a Loki and Perserker is straight up a gold Russian. Straight up gold rush. It can actually magically create dynamite and blow things up. It's constantly searching for gold. And its charm is actually a group. Is actually a gold nugget, just a crude gold nugget. A low key meowth has no charm. It also has a big white beard. It's a tabby. It has the fur of a tabby, but really, it's based on the gold rush. It's based on the big Australian gold rush, and it's amazing. It's based on the big Australian gold rush I mean, and Sovereign Hill. It's actually found in the Alopia region's equivalent of Sovereign Hill. Mount Gold. Mount Meowth. Yeah, it's called Mount Meowth. Yeah, the area is called Mount Meowth and it's based on the Sovereign Hill. Also, I'd like to talk about the evil team of the region. 
I know the evil teams have just been... Oh look, a bunch of delinquents slash punks. Now I'm actually doing a proper evil team for my region. Known as the Shadow Cult. Basically, they're a bunch of mind-controlled people. People that have been mind con forcefully mind-controlled into become into joining a massive cult ruled by the Shadow King. By the Demon King. The Demon King was a is a long dead is a long, the spirit of a long dead king who was the evilest being in the entire Pokemon world. They were the one that slayed Santa Rico. When they died, their spirit lived on as a go, but it, they were black and their face sometimes contorts and looks grim. They look really creepy. And during the big fight against the Demon King, either Rex or Ash will help you fight him. I'm using their signature Pokemon. Though, I have a feeling with some of you who ended up under like with their t entire team being underleveled, Rex would probably do the whole thing. Or Ash. Though, frankly, the thing is... Also, Professor Eucalyptus studies origin art. I've actually been uh, making comments on some of Lockston's videos about my fake Pokemon region. Also, by the way, fun fact about Rex, he actually has a really cool gauntlet. His gauntlet actually has has slots for free Z rings, for free Z crystals, and the origin, and an, and has the ability to use origin art, and has an origin, and has an origin stone. And has an origin gem. Well, an origin emblem. And he is good at it. He actually has a Quartzel, which is one of the stronger Pokemon. A Draconic Hoot. Also, in the games, if you decide to nuzz in Pokemon Forgiveness, if you decide to Nuzlocke, he'll just rock up with a level 100 Prismic Heat and stored power your entire team to death. Because it also has um, Omni a maximum Omni Boost and, and perfect stat so, and perfect IVs and EVs across the board. Yeah. Really, really strong. Way, never Nuzlocke ever. I I know that only idiots would Nuzlocke. Sure, it might maybe get more views. Ooze. Sure, Nuzlocke might might get views on channels that where the owner of the channel hates Nuzlocke's. The reason. Most of the likes on Nuzlocke are just sadists who who like seeing people miserable. Why do people watch Nuzlocke video? Not many people would not want to watch Nuzlocke videos. If not many kind-hearted people that care for the person's mental health and emotional health actually watch Nuzlocke videos. Because, you know... As, well, you know, most of them are sadists. Is who like to watch people suffer. 
And that's making it very clear that I am never going to Nuzlocke in my life. Another thing is, the really cool, oh. yeah, there's actually a lot. There's also a dark type Pokemon named Demonix, which is a dark crystal type. Rex is actually a guardian, and fun fact, Rex was endorsed by Arceus. Yeah, like seriously, he would have been, he's endorsed by Arceus. So, I think that's enough for today. Hope you enjoyed the mod, just have another shot and Merry Christmas, everybody! I can't believe I haven't put out anything on this. Please, Lockstink collab.